Looks like it's science fair season. Hmm, I don't know why my experiment isn't working. It's supposed to erupt. I did a volcano when I was your age. Want some help? Please, yes. Did you follow these steps? Uh, kinda. What do you mean, kinda? Well, I did and nothing happened. The steps feel wrong, so I've been trying them in different orders, but nothing's worked yet. Leo, you have to follow the steps. That's what science is all about. You must have just made a mistake. I didn't. It was probably just a tiny mess up. You have to be so careful following the instructions with science experiments, and you sometimes rush and make silly mistakes. No, I was very careful. I think the instructions are what's messed up. Let's see. I don't know what's wrong. Science is supposed to be just like baking. Told ya. Just follow the instructions. That's why I like science. I kind of think if we switch a step or two, or add a little more baking soda, we can get it to work. I don't know. I've always thought that being a scientist is all about carefully following instructions. You know how you hear trust the science all the time. Well, this is due tomorrow. I don't have much time. Can we use the history app for science? Maybe. Remember how Adam Smith was the dad of making money? The father of economics. Yeah, whatever. Let's go talk to the father of science. Do we want modern science? There are options. Yeah, sounds good. Whoa! Hey you, down there, watch out. I'm doing an experiment. Is the building falling? It's the Leaning Tower of Pisa. We're in Italy. Who's that crazy guy dropping rocks? You two. I saw you appear in a ball to light. I've been looking for you every night with my invention. Looking for us? Yes, aliens. We're not aliens. We are Americans. Ah, American aliens. Just go with it. I'm Leo. That's my sister Layla. And we need help with my science fair project. I built a model volcano and need it to erupt. Ah, like a teeny tiny Vesuvius. Yes, yes. I am Galileo. I love experiments and I will help you. We have instructions and we follow them perfectly, but it's not working. Can you help us? We have some questions. Fire away. Well, for starters, what are you doing with those rocks? You almost killed us. Ah, my experiment. Yes, I'm testing my hypothesis that no matter how big an object is, it will fall at the same rate as other objects, bigger or smaller. What's a hypothesis? It's a prediction that you make about something after carefully watching and observing it. Oh, like an educated guess. Exactly, yes. I love to observe the wonders of the world around me and try to figure out how and why they happen. So yes, I make educated guesses about things and then test them in experiments to see if I am right or wrong. That sounds really fun, but we came here because in our time, you're called the father of modern science and I thought science was about following the steps of the instructions and being precise. It can be, Leila, but it's also much more than that. Okay. Science is both a collection of steps and rules from past experiments, and also a never-ending process of questioning and testing. Can you give an example? When I made my first telescope, I did not create it from nowhere. I built upon findings of other scientists around Europe. I follow their steps perfectly, but after careful observation, I noticed that if I change some of the instructions, I might be able to make a more powerful telescope. So it's okay to go against the instructions if you think you can make something better? It is most definitely okay to have questions and try to make improvements. And if something is not working, then it is wise to question and look for alternatives. Leo, you had some ideas about the volcano you thought might work. That's like a hypothesis. You are right, we should test them. Mr. Galileo, I have a feeling you don't follow the instructions very often. Well, I live in a time where there are many new inventions that allow the universe to be observed more closely than ever before. It is easier than ever to have questions. I try to answer them and discover the truths of the universe. Do people ever get upset when you have questions and go against the instructions? Unfortunately, my methods and experiments to discover natural truths have been met with resistance and anger from some very powerful people. Like who? Who wouldn't want you discovering new things? Happy science!
Ah, there they are now. Here in Europe, during this time that you have come to visit, schools, government authority, and the church are all connected together. So when I learn new things that are different from what is taught in school, some people think that I'm rebelling against government authority and going against God. Are you going against God? Not at all. I am a Christian and love my faith very much. Let me explain the problem. Because of the improvements I made to the telescope, I've been able to see farther into space than anyone, and I have observed things that go against what the church and the government scientists say. Like what? For starters, the church scientists have thought that the moon is flat and smooth. I can see in my telescope that this is simply incorrect. We've been to the moon. We met Neil Armstrong up there. It's not smooth at all. It has tons of craters and holes. I knew it. You've been to the moon. You are aliens. What those people are really mad about is that I have developed a way to explain and show that the sun is the center of the universe, not the earth. They had thought for a long time that everything in the universe revolves around the earth, and they do not want to be proven wrong. Maybe they're kind of like how I was. They don't know that science is more than following rules and steps. Sometimes it's questioning, testing, and finding out new information. I don't understand why leaders wouldn't want everyone to know true information. I think it's because they're afraid of losing authority and power. Maybe that is why they want people to blindly follow and trust without having questions. Galileo! 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 Don't let him go! But I'm not gonna hang around to find out. Bye, kids! Let's get out of here, too. Hey, how was the science fair? Great. I even got extra credit. The judges gave it to me for figuring out what was wrong with the instructions and that steps five and six needed to be flipped. They said I acted like a true scientist. Way to go. They're right, you did. Science isn't just about following rules and orders. It's about observing, having questions, and testing. You and Galileo taught me that. Thanks. Will you turn on the baseball game? That's right, Bob. Government officials are telling Americans who have questions not to worry. Everyone just needs to follow the steps they've been given and trust the science. Hmm. If you are interested in time traveling again, please subscribe to PragerU.com slash kids and watch more of our adventures. Thank you for watching this video. To keep PragerU videos free, please consider making a tax-deductible donation.